Let's generate a maze. Chik -chik. I came across this website that explains 10 maze generation algorithms. But before we can do that, we need a grid of cells. Each cell in our grid will have 4 walls, which means there are 16 possible combinations for each cell. Does that mean we need to write 16 if statements? Hell no. We can treat our wall variables as bits and combine them into a binary number. That number will range from 0 to 15 in decimal. And here's our grid. Yeah, it's not that exciting. Let's try randomizing the walls. Here we go. Is it different? Yes. Is it better? Uh. So one flaw in our method is that there are two walls between the cells and we need just one. I don't think it's that critical and I also don't want to overcomplicate the project. To make our life easier, I added a function that connects two cells. Let's try randomly walking on our grid and connecting the cells along the way. Well, at least it's working. Let's go back to our website. It explains 10 different algorithms and I picked 4 of them. The first algorithm is called the backtracking algorithm. We start from a random cell and mark it as visited. Then we choose a cell from one of its neighbors that we haven't visited yet. Once we're happy with our choice, we mark our new cell as visited and connect the cells. We keep doing this until we can't move anymore. Once that happens, we start backtracking until we can. We'll be using a stack to keep track of our generation path. If our stack is empty, then our algorithm is complete. Let's see it in practice. Amazing. The second algorithm is called the randomized prims algorithm. Once again, we choose a random cell and add it to our set of cells. We also mark it as visited. Then we randomly choose a cell from our set of cells. There's only one cell for now, but be patient. We expand from it by one cell like before and mark our new cell as visited. We also put it in our set as well. And if we can expand from our cell, we remove it from our set. Even though I talked about using a set, I'm using a vector called stack. I am too smart for this world. If our set vector stack is empty, our maze is complete. Let's run it. Our maze looks like a bunch of forks. The process looks good though. Algorithm number 3. Wilson's algorithm. We pick a random cell and mark it as part of our maze. Then we pick another cell and start making a random path. If we accidentally make a loop, we destroy it and continue where we left off as if nothing happened. Once we touch our maze, we mark our path as part of it and start a new path. Turning this into code was surprisingly complicated. But ever since I started using our today's sponsor Skillshare, I started being more productive. You see, Skillshare is the largest online learning community that can help you learn new skills or improve the existing ones. They have a huge variety of classes in categories like productivity, marketing, or development. But what if I don't know where to start? That's why there are things called learning paths that can help you with that. These are collections of handpicked classes that can make it easier for you to learn a certain skill. My personal favorite teacher is Ali Abdal. His class called Productivity for Creators really helped me to start uploading videos more frequently. You probably noticed it too. And recently they added a new topic called AI and Innovation. As a person who's interested in AI, I love it. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today! Alright, here's the Wilson's algorithm in practice. If you pay close attention, you can notice that sometimes our path flickers at the end. That's because our path randomly decides to move backward resulting in a tiny loop of one cell which we delete. We're just gonna check to see if we're not going back. I also didn't like how the path looks so disconnected so we're gonna connect them. And let's not forget to reset the cells when we have a loop. Ok, it's working. Now we just have to wait. Finally! We made some progress. You know, for such a complex algorithm, it really sucks. And here's our final algorithm. The Aldous Broder algorithm. Let's hope I said it correctly. We pick a random cell and mark it as part of our maze. Then we move one cell in a random direction. If our current cell hasn't been visited, we mark it as such and connect it to the previous cell. We just have to do this for every cell on our map. This has to be the easiest maze generation algorithm ever. Let's see it in practice. 
So you're wondering why I'm silent? I fell asleep. Finally! Now let's see how many steps it takes for each algorithm to complete. 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, the first two finished their jobs. This one is surely taking its time here. And this one is slowly filling up the map. Alright, the Wilson's algorithm finally found the cell. It should finish soon. And it's complete. Honestly, I don't see any reason to use anything other than the backtracking algorithm. Especially this one, because it's still going. Let's finish this video by generating a huge maze. I chose the randomized prims algorithm. The result sucks, but the process looks amazing. Are you ready? Let's go! While this happens, let me thank these amazing people who supported me on Patreon. Especially Adam Kanzler, Kartoffelbauer1000 and Wayne Rasmussen. Like and subscribe and join our Discord server.